What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective-C Tutorials Lesson 26, and in this lesson we'll be going over arrays in arrays. Now let me just start off by saying that I did have a lot, or not a lot, but a couple more slides at the end of this keynote that I was going to go over, but when I was running through this slide to make sure everything was right before recording, I was like, eh, I think I'm going to add a little bit more information to those, but I wanted to go ahead and uh, release a new lesson for you guys, so uh, I'm going to just be creating a whole new lesson over those few slides and that'll come out real soon but let's go ahead and jump into this lesson um we're going to be finishing up talking about arrays for the most part in this lesson um we'll still touch up on some things from time to time but uh the last thing that we're going to be going over is multi-dimensional arrays and array of arrays now multi-dimensional arrays this is c's way of holding arrays within arrays and this is obviously obviously a form of C arrays and then array of arrays is objective C's object oriented way of holding arrays within array so we're going to be going over uh, each type in the lesson and then in code now starting off we have multi-dimensional arrays and as you can see that's what a multi-dimensional array looks like at the beginning looks just like a C array you have int the type of the array and then you have the name so we're just going to call this one 2d array and then um, you start to get into where it differs a little bit from just a regular c array instead of just uh, one uh, number within brackets you actually have two sets of brackets there so um, the first number is how many different arrays there are so it's the same as with uh, c array it's how many different items are in this array and then the second number is actually how many um, items are in each item so how many items are in each array so as you can see we have the first numbers four so we have four different arrays within this array and then we have uh, the second number that's three and there's three different items in each one of these arrays and notice that the main array uh, has brackets around everything and then uh, each individual array is separated by commas and then within the array um, you have all the individual arrays, all their values are separated by commas, and they're all uh, closed up with uh, braces. So um, everything still is the same as far as separating everything with commas and closing it up with braces. Nothing changed there. And when you are creating the array, um, use the actual number for how many items are in the array. So you can see that uh, we have four because there's one, two, three, four different arrays and three because there's one two three different items in the array and you're probably like well duh but however when you are accessing the array in code be careful to start counting at zero not one and actually try not to count like one two three try to say index zero index one index two because it's fairly easy for me to remember the whole start at index zero thing when it's just a regular array but when it's multi-dimensional and arrays inside of arrays it kind of confuses me and I kind of trips me up but anyways um, if we we're gonna do a little NS log on this data we might say the 2d array at index 0 index 2 is percent I and then of course say 2d array at index 0 index 2 so if we go to index 0 which is the first array and then we count index 0 index 1 index 2 um, we end up at 3 and the result is 3 so that's how uh, multi-dimensional arrays or uh, 2d arrays however you might want to say it um, that's how they work now on to array of arrays uh, array of arrays they let you add multiple arrays to a single array and this is the object oriented way of doing it and how it works you create a few different arrays with different values and then you create a new array and you add all the previously created arrays into the new array and then you can access the arrays individual values or info through this uh, new array so it, the whole idea is pretty simple it's just a few slight things um, it helps to kind of see it in code to know exactly how to do it but there's 
a good amount of code for this, so I won't be going over it in this keynote, but we're actually going to be jumping into Xcode right now to uh, code up some multi-dimensional arrays and then array of arrays. So let's go ahead and jump into Xcode. Okay, so here we are in Xcode, and the first thing you can do is go down to the bottom and you can delete this little chunk of code here. We're not going to be needing it any longer in our program. It was just to test something a while back. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and start with our multi-dimensional array, and this is going to be a 2D array just like in the keynote. So 2D array, and it's going to have four arrays in it with three items in each array. Equals braces, one, two, three. Close it out, comma. Uh, four, five, six, and then last array, seven, eight, nine. Close everything up, and there we go. We're all done with the array. Now we're going to get access to it a few times here. So 2D array at index zero, index two is, and I'm going to go ahead and put in the number here just to make sure that I know uh, how to count the indexes and do everything. So index 0 would be this first one here, and then at index 2 would be 0, 1, 2. So it, sh it'll, it should be 3. And then I'll just go ahead and put percent %i. And then you refer to it the same way that you did before with the regular C arrays. You just add in that extra index. And then you can go ahead and copy this code of line and paste it two more times. And then we can change a few things. So let's do index two, index one. So that would be at eight and index two, index one. And then let's do index three at index uh, zero, and that would be. Um, oh, I forgot to add another array. I thought it seemed a little short, but yeah, uh, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, dokey. So at index zero, that would be ten. So index three, index zero, that's ten. Okay. And let me put 10 in there. So we're all done with the multi-dimensional arrays. Now we'll move on to array of arrays. So the first thing you need to do is create an NS array. And we'll just call it array 1 equals NS array. Whoa. Hit something there. Whoops. Uh, NS array. Then allocate some memory. Then you init with objects and now we're going to have to uh, declare some ns numbers within the initialization for the array so we're going to initialize these with the int value of one then close that out comma and you can go ahead and copy and paste that and then end it with nil and close it out. And then you need to change the values to two and three. So everything looks good there. And then you can copy that line and paste it. There we go. And then we just have to make some slight modifications to each line of code. Make that array 2. Make that array 3. And then change each one of these. So 4, 7, 5, 8. And I know this is kind of like very repetitive and a bit annoying, but it's just to test out the NS array. It's easier than trying to use like arrays that we've already done. It's easier just to create our own simple ones. So anyways, uh, now we need to create the array that I referred to in the lesson as the new array. This is going to be the array 
of arrays. So you can go ahead and name it that. And then of course, whoops, initialize it. So allocate some memory. And then init with the objects, array one, array two, array three. And then end it with nil, close it out with a bracket, semicolon. Whoop. And now we're going to uh, access uh, some values in uh, array one, two, or three using array of arrays. So let's say we wanted to get access to array three, the last value. How would you do that using uh, array of arrays to access it? Well, ns log last value in the last ns array equals percent i because we initialize these with ints then close it out. So pretty much everything up to this point, you've known how to do. You know how to, you already ready knew, I think, kind of how to add arrays into an array. Uh, you probably could have figured that out on your own. But this part, um, how to get access to those arrays, once you've added them into a single array, you might not know. You're going to need three brackets. And you're going to declare array oops, of arrays object at index and it's going to be at index 2 then close out a bracket and then again object at index 2 and close that out and then you're going to have to say that it's in value close that last bracket out and then end it with a semicolon so now we can go ahead and build and run save all so the only thing that we care about is these last four lines of code. And as you can see, everything worked perfectly. We uh, counted right using the indexes, 3, 3, 8, 8, 10, 10. And then the last value in the last NS array is 9. And that's exactly what we expected. So that's how you use multidimensional and uh, array of arrays in Objective C. Now, array of arrays will be used extensively in your programming in one way or another and at least in sample code that you see it's going to be used quite a bit so definitely uh, a very useful thing that you'll see time and time again so anyways um like i said my next lesson's coming out real soon not sure about the date and everything but uh less than a week that's coming out um follow me on facebook and twitter for the latest updates on everything and uh, like this video if you liked it of course that helps and comment below and subscribe above for more great content like this thanks for watching i hope to see you in the next video real soon